So while college football fans everywhere are counting down the days until the regular season gets here, LSU head coach Brian Kelly recently had some interesting comments. Comments that are sure to have Alabama fans everywhere circling the date in which Alabama plays LSU. Comments that we've got to break down here today. Before we can, as always, y'all know the drill. I have got to hear from you. Hop down to the comments. Give me a Y for yes or an N for no. Do you believe LSU can go back to back in beating the Crimson Tide? And let me know what you're thinking. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification as I do constant college football content. You don't want to miss any of it. And if you enjoyed the content, be sure to like and comment down below. Those interactions seem small, but they truly are massive to content creators such as myself. And we're on a push to 20,000 subscribers. I'd love to have you a part of this unbelievable community. But having said all that, let's jump right into this. And first and foremost, we need to understand what it is Brian Kelly said. Because here recently when he was talking, he was talking about all the things in the college game he loves. Saying he loves the atmosphere, he loves the stadiums, and he ended it by saying, and I love beating Alabama. And if you looked at social media after those comments were released, social media was in a frenzy. And it almost reminded me of comments Brian Kelly made a year ago whenever he took the LSU job, saying he wanted to go coach LSU because he wanted to coach in the SEC and he wanted to beat Nick Saban. And there was a contingent of the population that felt like that was disrespectful towards Nick Saban. I, however, viewed it the exact opposite. One thing we've got to understand about these coaches is they are hyper-competitive individuals. And whenever Brian Kelly went out and said, hey, I want to go to the SEC and I want to beat Nick Saban, to me, that was almost giving Saban his respect, saying, I want to beat the best coach in all of college football. He lies in the SEC. I want to go there and test my medal against him year in, year out. That's a competitive mindset. And in my opinion, Brian Kelly was giving Nick Saban his flowers. So fast forward a year after LSU came in and in Brian Kelly's first year was able to take down the Tide in an absolute thriller. Here recently, Brian Kelly stated he loves beating Alabama. And this, as I stated, has fans in a frenzy on social media. So were these comments shocking? Were they surprising? First and foremost, no, because I've always been of the mindset to the victor goes the spoils. You won your first year as the head coach of LSU, and you got your first win against Nick Saban in the Crimson Tide in your third attempt. So I have no problem with LSU riding into next year on a high thinking about playing Alabama. And secondly, they return a lot of good talent on that team, and that's a game I cannot wait to see. I think Alabama is going to be an interesting team this offseason. You love Love the talent they have there, but they have a lot of new faces. We need to see what that looks like, and especially at the quarterback position, where LSU at least has the luxury of having two guys in Daniels and Nussmeyer that they not only have familiarity with, they have supreme confidence in. So this LSU-Alabama game is going to be a lot of fun, but one thing we've got to realize, as good as I think LSU is going to be this year, it is really difficult going back-to-back -back against Nick Saban and pulling out back-to-back -back victories. So difficult, in fact, I got curious, and I wanted to look at, since Alabama has had Nick Saban, how many teams have gone back-to-back -back years beating Alabama? And the answer was only two. In the 2010 season, LSU beat Alabama and then followed it up by beating them again in the 2011 season. Now, interesting to note that from 2010 to 2011, LSU and Alabama actually played each other three times. Times. Two times in the regular season where LSU took both of those victories and once in the national championship where Alabama got the last laugh because the game in 2011 was a very close game decided by field goals in the regular season and when it got to the national championship it was not a close game anymore. Alabama won it 21 nothing. The only other team that has been able to go back to back beating Alabama is Hugh Freeze whenever he was the head coach of Ole Miss and there have been many teams that have had the opportunity to go back-to-back -back years beating Alabama. If we look at 2007, Nick Saban's first year with the Crimson Tide, they lost four games to Georgia, Florida State, LSU, Louisiana, Monroe, and Auburn. In 2008, Georgia had the ability to go back-to-back -back against the Crimson Tide, yet they failed to do so, as did LSU and as did Auburn. In 2010, South Carolina, Auburn, and LSU were the three teams to hand the Crimson Tide a loss. However, in 2011, Auburn was unable to go back-to-back, -back, and it was just 
just LSU, but once again, they played three times, LSU taking the two regular season matchups and the Crimson Tide taking the national championship matchup. In 2012, Alabama lost to Texas A&M, yet in 2013, Texas A&M was unable to pull off the repeat victory. In 2013, Alabama lost to Auburn, yet in 2014, Auburn was unable to pull off the back-to-back. And you get the point that I'm trying to create for all of you. There have been several teams that had the ability to beat the Crimson Tide in consecutive years, but only two institutions since 2007 have been able to claim that feat, LSU in 2010, 2011, and Ole Miss in 2014 and 2015. Of the several other teams that have had the ability to do so, None others have gotten the job done. So the question is, will LSU be able to get on this list for the second time and become the third team to beat Alabama in back-to-back years? This is something we've got to see. And I have no doubt fans everywhere are circling that Alabama-LSU game and cannot wait until it gets here because it is going to provide us fireworks. So should Alabama fans be taken aback by Brian Kelly's comments? No, like I said, to the victors go the spoils. And make no mistake about it. I have no doubt that Nick Saban and Alabama are going to hang those comments in the locker room and use it as fuel for the season to tell all of his players, hey, they're doubting us already. They think that they're going to go back to back on us already and we need to give them something to think about. I have no doubt that this is going to be used as motivation for the Crimson Tide and I don't think that this is a bad thing for Brian Kelly to say. He's saying this to LSU fans. He's trying to rile up his base and get more people excited for LSU football in 2023, which I don't think is a net negative. I cannot wait for Alabama to play LSU. This is something we're going to be talking about, no doubt, tonight on the SEC Connect. We will be going live at 7 o'clock. Can't wait to see you over there, but I can't wait to hear your opinions here. Drop them down below. Let me know what you thought about Brian Kelly's comments. That's it. See you.